Yo, what's good? I wanted to make this video real quick. I um, actually wanted to make this video after the Entourage movie was greenlit. Just to show uh, the sneakers that were made for the show. I actually wanted to make the video since I had all three versions, but... And it just kind of been slacking on it. But once the video or the movie got greenlit, like I was excited and wanted to show everybody the three different versions of the Entourage. Along with the backpack that I really don't know much about. I think it's... A friend and family bag that came with the show whenever the sneakers got released. But anyway, into the shoes. In 2011, pictures of this version of the shoe popped up. It's got the end on the left insole. It actually says Entourage on the right insole. This version has a blacked out bottom. And it's actually probably the cleanest version of the three. You can see elephant print through the tote box, through the eyelets, through the foxing, and blacked out swoosh. Nike on the back tab. This version obviously has the entourage. If you know me, this is my favorite show. Like I loved Entourage, events, drama, Turtle, Eric, you know, Ari, which is everybody's favorite usually. Uh, so when I saw this shoe, I first, you know, I had to have it. I, I think the first picture that surfaced was the uh, director's chair with the shoe just sitting in it. And of course, you know, started scrambling, trying to find out what it was known about it, when it was coming, you know, what was going on. And, you know, of course, there's friend and family, and it was coming, it wasn't coming. You know, it had been scrapped, and that version wasn't coming. And then after they said this version was scrapped, this one showed up. Oh, this is the second version. It has the same insoles as the scrap version. Uh, but this one has a gum sole, and it does not have... The entourage on the tongue tab. It just says the standard dunk low. I switched it up, obviously. It's the same shoe. Just they switched out the bottom and, of course, the back tab. Instead of saying uh, Nike and white, it actually has it in gold. I don't know. I actually prefer the all black, the original version that actually has all the markings. And then, in the end, this is the version that we got. Standard Nike SB insoles. The shoe's clean. Uh, the only version, only difference between the version 2 and the release version is literally the insoles. They have the same production date. They have the same everything. Just the only difference is one has the unreleased insoles. And the released version has these. Uh, I actually looked at the production tags before I made the video. These were made from... four it was like four six eleven to six eight eleven, And these were made from like six twelve eleven to 8, 15, 11, or something like that. Um, so these are actually made literally like two months apart. So I don't know if Nike already knew that this, you know, from the jump, this was going to be friends and family, and this was a version that we were going to get to public, or if it just happened where they were like, no, you're going to have to scrap the friends of no, this version, and this ended up just being friends and family, and then we ended up getting this version. I honestly do not know how that worked out. Um, but I do know that because of the production tags, both versions of the shoes were made within four months. So this is the friends and family. And that is the one that actually came out. And like I said, it's just black bottom, gum sole. Uh, the friend and family version is not my size. It's actually like a size 11. I know somebody that does have my size and 
we are working on getting that to me. So I can actually rock it. So the size 11 fits after I take out the insole and I'm not trying to beat it up like that. So I put it on and took some pics and that's about all I've done with it. But um, another thing that I had to have, and I owe this to Akuma, who is also in the NHSK, is he found this backpack. And it was on eBay. It's a Max Airbag. I don't know the story behind it at all. I just know a guy had it on eBay. I bought it. Uh, assuming that it was part of the friends and family package that came along with the SB. And I'll take it when we display. It's a nice bag. I actually paid 80 bucks for it. I asked Fran about it. Fran really didn't know too much about it. So if anybody knows the origin, uh, I've seen them make some good connects on Instagram as far as the SB community is concerned. So maybe when I post a video, uh, they can fill me in on the details of the bag. But that's it. That's all three versions of them together. I don't know who all has all three versions. I know Fran's got it. I'm sure we're not the only two with them. I'm sure there's a few other people who have them, but it's the friends and family with the friends and family insoles. The release version with the friends and family unreleased insoles. And then the version that everybody calls the Nantourage that actually came to public with the standard Nike SB insoles. So let me know what you think. Hopefully you all enjoy it. Um, that's it. Peace.